English learners, I know this video is long overdue. I kind of took a little break, but I will be back more consistently to provide you with more English learning content. So make sure you are subscribed and have your bell notifications on so you will be notified whenever I upload a new English video. In today's video, we are going to discuss different terms that you might see in social media. A lot of them are informal. A lot of them are different slang terms that you will need to know if you are on social media in 2022. So in this video, we will learn nine of those. If that's something that interests you, keep watching. Our first term is, this ain't it. This ain't it. And we say this, type this, write this to show disapproval or dislike of something someone has said or done. And of course, it's usually of something said or done on social media or the internet. For instance, my uncle posted a picture on social media uh, on some social media platform in a horrendous, ugly sweater and there was a comment underneath his post that said that sweater ain't it meaning i don't like that sweater i disapprove of that sweater next we have to get dragged get dragged and to get dragged means to be harshly criticized or insulted for something. And again, this is usually used when someone is being insulted on the internet. You might even hear about a celebrity or whomever getting dragged across or on the internet. It just means that many people are criticizing or insulting that person. So, for example, you could say... The actress got dragged for her terrible performance in the film. Or she decided to take the photo down after she got dragged by her family and friends. And our next term is to understand the assignment. Understand the assignment. And to understand the assignment simply means to succeed at something. So, for instance, on TikTok. If you are on TikTok, you know that many people on TikTok who are famous like to do these uh, dance trends. So, let's say you decide to follow a dance trend and people respond positively to it. They give you compliments. They like the way you dance. They might say, gosh, you really understood the assignment, meaning you really succeeded. You did a great job. Number three is to flex, flex. And literally to flex means to bend or move a part of the body, usually a muscle. I'm flexing my bicep right now. But another way that people use this term is to mean to show off or to show pride or boast about something uh, they've done or who they are or maybe how they look. So let's say you drive a nice car. You might flex it on the internet by posting pictures of it. So that's typically what people flex on the internet. Their wealth. You might flex when you post pictures in nice clothes or when you show off your beautiful mansion. You are flexing. And our next term is mood mood 
So we use this term to caption usually a photo or a post that we can relate to or might describe our feelings at the time. So you might post this picture and caption it mood. It means I can relate. I'm feeling this way too. Or perhaps this is what I'd like to be doing. And the next term is to sleep on something. To sleep on something. And it's not just something that you'd see on social media. People often just say that somebody might be sleeping on something. But it basically just means to not fully appreciate how good something or someone is. You are sleeping on them or on it. So you could say, Sedona, Arizona is so beautiful, yet it is so slept on. Or fanny packs are so useful, you shouldn't sleep on them. You are sleeping on fanny packs. Next up, goals. Goals or maybe hashtag goals. And basically we use this term when we want to say that a post that someone else has posted is something that we also like to achieve, okay? So you might see something like couple goals. That's a common one. And this means that they would also like to be in a relationship like that because they just look so happy right? Or if someone has a nice body in their bathing suit, others might say his or her body is goals, meaning they would also one day like to have a body like that. Then we have this term eight, eight, right? Second form of the verb eat, but we're not using it in that way. Eight. And basically it means you've succeeded. You've done a good job at something. You ate. So yes, you've succeeded. You've done a good job. So you might see a certain celebrity's performance at a concert, at uh, the Super Bowl, whatever. And you, might, and you might say, yeah, they definitely ate. Meaning, yeah, they definitely did a great job. Nice. And next we have the expression... It's giving something. It's, it's giving X. And it means that something, what we are discussing, is giving off a certain vibe or reminds us of something or is similar to something. So you might look at this photo and say it's giving Halloween, right? Because it kind of reminds you of Halloween. Or this one and say it's giving car salesman. Right? Because maybe he looks like a car salesman or something like that. So that is the end of this video on different slang terms that you need to be familiar with in 2022 if you are on social media. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, make sure to press the like button, subscribe if you have not already. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have something to discuss. And until next time, English learners.